But for now, let's go for a streak of 32, uh, 52, sorry, Beast Boss Rush. We've got Sad Onion, we've got Flat Penny, we've got a hell of a lot of DPS. And I have Magic Skin, which I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm never going to use. That item just ruins runs. Wait, what? Oh. I, I, don't, I don't know what that was, I had a brain fart. Yeah, I've got pretty bad allergies again today, which is why I've had the camera off in the last run and this one as well. It's a bit unfortunate. Hi! I, I love this. love this thing. Okay. What do we got? Man, sharp straw. It might actually go down as one of my favorite, if not my favorite use item of them all. It's so good. I'm such a big fan of the straw. Is the next L floor? Oh, it's the next L floor. I didn't even notice. Whoopsie. How does it ruin runs? Because you keep seeing magic skin on like every pedestal if you use it too often. And even if you don't use it too often, you still see a lot of magic skin instead of like actually useful items. Oh boy. Uh, hold up. Can I weaponize these? Oh, I can get the golden chest at least. I didn't react fast enough for this one, but I can just get it like this. Great. But I do get a crawl space for my troubles as well. With blood bombs, which is much appreciated considering my second item room was empty. Ah! I just got wrecked. That also gives me plus one HP, which is greatly appreciated on one starting health. Big fan. Big fan. I can't... Hmm. I can't like clear for too long here of course because uh you know boss rush run but at the same time like it's the next l curse right this floor is gonna go by super quickly so I, I definitely have a bit of a buffer here and i would like to get something out of that store considering i'm getting one less well i wouldn't like to get anything out of that store so i guess we're just moving on Yeah, magic skin also gives you a broken heart every time you use it, and those are no bueno. Alright, today I learned I can't hit pin with a sharp straw while he's on the ground. That is sad, but also it's just pin, so who cares? Mom's underwear. Not my preferred item, but the flies are gonna help me clear Ragman faster. One of the one of the few cases where the flies from mom's underwear are not immediately used on some random low health mob on the next floor. And I think with this health, I'm not gonna go to the devil deal. I'm not gonna take a two hard item, so let's just force angel rooms again. Why not? Don't care about broken onk. I mean, like. I, I would take it if I didn't have any trinkets, but I already have a good one, and I also can't get that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! What fresh hell is this? Dude, imagine doing this room on low DPS. Bomb. straw. Love it. Uh oh. I love how all these little mobs, like the spiders, are apparently just out of my one shot range from the straw. That's great. Uh, super secret room. Secret room, I mean. Oh. Uh. Hmm. So item room here? This might be a mid-boss room too. Well, neither. Sure. Nice thing is the flat damage from sharp straw also ignores these guys' shields, I'm pretty sure. So even when they're shielded, the little mushrooms, I still do the, the flat 10% damage on straw use. So that's pretty neat. 
Oh, a challenge room. Do I want that? I think I do. I'm a bit scared of these champions. Especially this guy that bursts into a bunch of tears. Don't care about that. Nah, sure. Ooh. Worth. Hashtag worth. Hashtag sucker. Hashtag hashtag, I don't know. The times are over where people thought they were cool when they put hashtag hashtag on their Twitter, right? Same way people don't think they're cool anymore for insulting streamers for getting sponsored. I need to talk about that. A lot of you guys, both on Twitch and YouTube, were super supportive of that mini shoot adventure sponsorship. Like, regardless of whether you're actually going to get the game yourself or anything, uh, I, I really like how the, the culture around that has changed a lot. Like, back when I started streaming, you'd basically get insulted and be called a, a, a sellout and all that stuff. And you're only in it for the money and Lord knows what. But nowadays, when I see someone getting sponsored and that includes my sponsorship from, uh, from last time, people are like, yeah, so happy for you. Get that bag. Great sponsorship. Love you. Have my baby. No, that's not what they said, but you get the point. People are much more appreciative of streamers reeling in a sponsorship. You didn't forget to shit on me for the sponsorship. You decided not to. You can have Buggo's Firstborn? I don't need Buggo's Firstborn. Might as well just get a turtle. I don't think that came with COVID. I think that was before COVID already where where uh, people actually started being empathetic towards streamers and understanding that they're humans needing to pay their bills. Arbstraw is great with all this fire rate. Uh, seven minutes, dude, we're so fast. And because we had an XL floor, it's actually a 72% chance. That's pretty great. Oh, come on, game. Pestilence. It's champion Pestilence, though. That guy is actually less threatening than OG Pestilence. Because white creep is a lot less threatening as well than the green one. No angel room, but next floor is going to be 100% chance, and we get a meat cube, so good stuff. Good stuff. Still need to be a bit careful, though. We have a lot of DPS, but we don't have a hell of a lot of health. So, like, one bad room can make things go south pretty quickly. Uh, I have six keys. I can go for that. And I continue to have six keys. Okay, get these guys in position before we do that. Congrats on the 50 plus. Thank you. Aiming to make that 100. He pushed it. He pushed it out of the way, so I only got four mushrooms instead of six. I gotta place a bomb here too. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Carefully line yourself up and then miss two of them anyway. Yup. <laughs> the classic. It ain't my first rodeo, you know. I could go for the dice room. I'm gonna peep inside, but there's only like two that I would actually use. Rerolls all pickups in the room. Yeah, sure. That's actually one of the ones I was going to use. Magic 8 ball for the planetarium chance and the world card. Let's see what's in here. Hourglass. That's boring. 
All right. All right, maze curse. I see how it is. SMB super fan. I like it. I miss the times from Flash Isaac when SMB super fan actually gave you a massive speed up. I always thought that was a reference to how, you know, Super Meat Boy runs really fast. But apparently not, because they changed it. Apparently it was just an accident. Can't give the player too much move speed all at once. Eh, sure, I'll take a humbling bundle. Alright. Oh! I was reading chat and I got mazed! That could have gone badly if there was an actual contact damage dealing enemy in the middle of the room. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. Nice maze curse. Nice maze curse, respecting the time constraints I'm on. You gotta, you gotta respect it, man. The game's on my side. Never mind. It's rag mega. All right, Sacred Heart, Sensor, uh, it's Beast, I don't want that. That's gonna kill me. <laughs> Against the Beast, that's actually dangerous. I don't think the build has improved since Basement 2, which is actually problematic heading into Depths. But you know, what? what, what is this floor again, dude? This is scuffed, where's the Super Secret Room? got really excited there for a second oh that's a double heart yeah come on let's do that real quick <clears throat> i could use some resources and i mean i've got the counterfeit penny uh, not the counterfeit the the flat penny so gives me some keys that i don't need to all right let's go we, we, we're not really under time pressure anymore at this point. I do hope I can find one of them planetariums now that I have a higher chance. So we can, we can look around a bit. Don't want to go into that curse room for my last soul heart though. Yeah, you can tell that the damage is falling off at this point. But that's okay, we, we got this. We... We got this. That was definitely necessary, and I'm glad this room has made it into the game. No tinted rocks, no tinted rocks, no tinted rocks. Ah! Somehow that didn't hit me. I'm glad, but also confused. Nice lead pencil. I love it. <clears throat> That's three spiky puzzle rooms in a row. The game heard how much I like those and decided to give me more. Planetarium! Mercurius! If I want to go real fast. <laughs> oh, wow. The game really has listened to me. You know what that means, right? Like, we're gonna do one more run after this, this stream. No, 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 that guy blows me up. We're gonna do one more run in this stream after this, which means that third run is gonna be either lightning fast again, or the slowest run you've ever seen. And there's like no in between. It's gonna be one or the other. That's just what fate has in store for us here. Really? One guy? Just protected by these dudes? Okay. It'll be nice. Start delirium. Oh boy. Calm down, Satan. Calm down, Santa. Oh, the boy who lived. What do we got? Broken modem and red stew. Okay. 
I mean, I always love me some red stew, and I've always been a big fan of the broken mode. I've not always been, but chat has... Uh, chat has convinced me. Ongi, thank you so much for the gifts up to Bago. Appreciate it. Also, this uh, sharp straw should actually be picking up Dubskis left and right now. Oh, boy. I, it, it's just the day of items. Probs loves. That's what this is. Dead Onion is so good. Excuse me if I'm talking too much about how good Dead Onion is every time I find it, but like seriously. Piercing and Spectral in one item. Edmund really had a good day when he made this one. Oh, look at that damage. Alright, oh, homing shots. Okay, we're good. Let's get another Angel Room. Oh, thank you. Eden Soul? Yeah, I want to keep the straw. Man, <laughs> I'm really not finding anything like earth shatteringly good. Um, all right. We're going to the item room later. I want to take as much as possible of that red stew into the boss rush. That being said, I do need to find the X marks the spot before going to into the mom room. So that's going to be something. Nice target practice. Wait for them to die. What's in here? Look, I said I wanted to get to the boss rush as fast as possible, but I get easily distracted. Don't judge me. <clears throat> so close to the onion transformation. But we're actually at 1540, considering how fast we were in the early game. Actually surprising. But I, I was slacking a bit on the last two floors, so... I guess it's not all that surprising. Is that a tinder rock? Nope. Can I please get the X marks to spot? No. Well, I need to find that before going in there. Because <laughs> it is a beast run. It's going to be right in front of the item room, is it? Judges probs. Oh no, anything but the judgment of my viewers. How will I recover? I'm just not going to find that thing, am I? Nope. I even went out of my way to go to the least convenient room possible because that's the kind of thing the game would do, but it just ain't happening. I'm not taking this red stew into the into the boss rush. At least not most of it. Bro. Bruh. Hey, I found it and it only took me like half a decade. All right, now I need Dr. Fetus. <laughs> Oops. After I opened that on accident, I should have gone straight through, but... I didn't think fast enough about that. Did I ever go to that secret room? I think I did. I mean, I'm still at a solid amount of damage. This is probably greed, is it? I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I gonna help? I don't know, man. Let's go. How about the broken modem? Uh, I'll take the negative. Nope. Man, these angel rooms are out of this world. What the heck, man? That was garbage. Mm. 
And the red stew is finally off. Oh god, it's war. Oh god, it's war. I need to turn off speedrun mode now too, because I don't have to actually rush anything anymore. It's sometimes kind of hard to get out of, out of that once you're so used to it, right? Like you've been going fast for like the last two floors now and, and suddenly you need to turn that off again. I'm just saying sometimes it's hard to adjust. Should really go for this guy first and ignore this chilla. I mean, the build is still solid, don't get me wrong, right? But it's not as strong as it used to be. I feel like this build actually still needs some help if it wants to beat the beast. Comfortably, at least. My mission is complete. The Xbox is once gone. Oh, man. It's pin or hollow. Uh-uh, brimstone him? Heck yeah. Oh! Yo, Chad, what are we thinking in here? What uh, Chubb's opinion on smoke is? What are we thinking? I don't think he quite liked it. Kill Famine last because that drops me a guaranteed soul heart. <laughs> I probably leave this soul heart on the ground until the end of the boss rush, right? Hold up, Blast Assist is another enemy we should ignore until all the others are dead. Good job. <laughs> That's okay. I thought he liked it, he was bursting with excitement. Yeah, but you see the problem is he eventually died from all the excitement. I'm not sure that's so great. I'm just gonna start meat cubing. I've got like a million red hearts on the ground. Who cares? Uh oh. This guy is dangerous. This guy is dangerous. I really hate death in the boss rush. Like, that fight by itself is not a problem, but when it's the big room and there's also another boss at the same time, it just becomes really awkward with the sights and the slowdown. It's an awkward one, especially when your damage is rather mid. We should be done soon, though, right? Oh god, pink carrion queen. That boss has entirely too much HP. 
here. Nom nom nom. Turns out Carrion Queen also dislikes smoke. Pin? Oh no, there's a dark one. Okay. How did I miss that? I do dislike how Dead Onion makes uh, the lead pencil a lot worse. Like that burst of tears has basically no range. That's a bit unfortunate. Because of the lack of shot speed. Did not really fight Widow? That must have been wretched. That charges four times. Really? All of that for the flush? I... Man, I'm gonna need... Uh, I'm gonna need a banger Gehenna. Black cards? Was there black cards? That's unfortunate. I'm probably gonna gamble for a bit here. Because that health could definitely be the difference maker. Get a baby pet, it will cheer you up. Please don't do that, Judd. That is terrible advice. I don't really care about the hangman question mark. I don't care about that either. Although I guess it's better than the flat penny at this point. It's actually pretty good for the ascend to get uh, a heart. Yo. Every floor. I'm going to 50. I'm actually going to 20. A penny, huge growth. I'm definitely taking that with me. Alright. We're, we're gonna need a good Gehenna. I don't love the position I'm in here. This run started out really nice, but somehow we haven't really found anything afterwards. That's a bit concerning. Like, I, I really feel like we haven't improved very much since, like, Caves 1. Only redeeming factor here is that every time it gets ugly, I can just leave the room because of, uh, because of Mercurius. But I also want to clear rooms, right? Because I want to find, I want to find resources. Boss challenge room. Oh, okay, I get the boss challenge room. Soul of Eve is not as great as huge growth for uh, the beast fight. Oh, yeah, sure. I should have used Soul of Eve in here, actually. I'm going to use this and take Soul of Eve with me, I guess. Although I'm not sure that's the correct play. Actually, I'm most certainly positive that it's not. I shouldn't have come in here. I didn't think I was gonna actually, like... Gain HP here. But I thought the range would be nice for the beast fight. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, let's get that. Good golden chest? Oh, I mean, that's a good golden chest, but not for this point of the run. 
Okay, no greed. There's a smelter, which, I mean, I might as well smelt the trinket I have. That's okay. Uh, I haven't found the item room yet, but I don't... But I don't need the item room here, right? Because I'll get it on the way back, and I'm most likely not going to get the item anyway before I see the question mark. Oh, no, I'm just getting out of here. I'm not staying in here <laughs> if I don't have to. Super secret? Oh, there it is. Mm. Uh, do I actually look for a, a blood beggar here? A demon beggar here or something? Like, what are the odds I'm going to find one? But how good would it be if I found one? The world question mark. I mean, that can't hurt. Fire mind? Nope. Hey, what are you supposed to do here? Actually, you know what I'm supposed to do here? That. that worth it <laughs> probably not probably not worth all the stress all right i'm done here we're not finding a demon beggar oh boy i spent it it's gone just get over it soul what soul what who soul Man, we need... What the heck? We need some help. I really thought this run was a done deal with how it started. Oh, Soul of Eve. Oh, dang it. Oh. Man! Alright, stay calm, drops. Stay calm. You got this. That really doesn't help. Actually, the butt knife might help. Nope. Out of here. The butt knife might help. You can butt knife the beast pretty easily, so that's a huge step in the right direction. That's a spooky chest. <laughs> I don't want to touch that. Unless I can find some red hearts. And even then, it's barely going to be worth the time. Definitely worth it, though, because there could be a soul heart in there. Whoops. Or, you know, I do that. Also an option. Oops. Probs, we did not win all Unite matches yesterday just for you to throw away the streak. I actually played earlier this morning, too, and I won, like, eight in a row. I'm, like, one or two games away from 1600 now as well. But yeah, I'm not ready to lose the streak just yet. This is what I mean when I say in in like mid runs, you know, if I have a bad five minutes, I could still lose. This is exactly the kind of scenarios I'm talking about. There's a tinted rock there. Also, I did not mean to leave. I can just put the knife in front of me. Tinted rock. 
Really? Strength? Oh, come the papa. That is definitely gonna change the beast fight a lot. Disrupting your expectations about enemies and their attacks. That's what I thought all the time too, but then chat urged me to try it and ever since I've been a fan. Broken modem is insanely good. Twitch chat, Twitch chat really converted me on the broken modem. Man, be good time for a demon beggar. It'd be a really good time for a demon beggar. Oh, tinder rock. Small rock. Okay. I'm capped on tier raid, so that's a bit unfortunate. But hey, the damage is much appreciated. Although I'm not sure I would have preferred that over, uh, you know, what's it called? Soul hearts. I've cleared out most of the item rooms, right? And the ones I didn't clear out who were use items, so. I definitely want to clear out this floor, yeah. Because a, a demon beggar would have been so huge. Definitely want to check everything here. The problem is you usually really don't get a lot during the ascent. Like one of the best things that can happen really is that you get like a, a magic mushroom out of this room. Which is why I'm gonna do my best to not do that. I'm going for a magic mush. I need all the help I can get. Although I have the strength card, so I guess I already have a magic mush for the beast fight. But finding it here would give me the magic mush for the rest of the ascend as well, and the dogma fight, so... Mm, nope, not messing with this guy. <laughs> not messing with this guy either. Not messing with this guy either. I mean, at this point, I'm really only looking for rooms that have beggars, right? Or like other gambling machines. Because that's what beggars are to me. Gambling machines. At least in this game. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm, I want to check the item rooms. There are item rooms with really, really nice layouts. This is not one of them, but, you know. Do you want to reveal me a crawl space? No. 10% chance to shoot a slowing tier. 100% chance at 18 luck. Well, I have 4 luck, so... The use for that seems neat. Man, Sharp Straw is providing me with so many red hard drops. I, I really need to find a demon banger. Robs is actively looking for gambling opportunities. Note it. Yep. I swear I'm gonna win if I gamble. It's gonna happen. I, I just know it. I can feel it inside me. Just like I'm gonna get a magic mushroom out of this. Never mind, I'm gonna get it out of that one. You know, I was worried that was going to happen. But I have telepills in the pool here now, so I'm going to keep popping these once the ragmans are done with. Another golden pill. Come on, just get me out of here again. We 
guess I do want that. For the love of Christ! Bombs are key is huge. Dude. If you ever wondered why I never take pills. But I'm committed now. Dude, for the love of Christ, just teleport me out of here so I can get my strength card. Bad trip. Oh <laughs> no, man, and I even got a health down. What the heck, man? And two luck down. Oh. I mean, I deserve that. I know better than to take pills in a situations like this, but I'm also kind of desperate. This was terrible. Dude, I could lose the run because of that. Shot speed down is whatever. I don't care about that. Dude, we, we could legitimately lose the run because of those golden pills. That cost me 2 HP, essentially, and the strength card. One, one of which of those HP was the strength card. Is what I'm trying to say. Man, although I gotta say, the bombs are key pill might make up for it. Like, the bombs are key was really good because bombs are insane in the beast fight. Nope, 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 not bad. Not, not bothering with that. <sighs> we also have rocket bombs. Yeah, that's a big part of why the bombs are key is so huge. Because rocket bombs are really easy to use in the beast arena. Alright, more rooms like this one, please. I, I need to full clear. Like, I, I need to see if there's a beggar or a gambling machine anywhere. Like, without a doubt, a fortune teller machine would completely change this run. Or it would explode on the second play. Off this? Nope. I don't want to bother with this guy. I don't want to bother with that guy either. Item room. That one had something unbelievably stupid, but I forgot what it was. It was some use item that I didn't want over the straw. Oh, yeah. Man, I need that on the next floor. <laughs> I need that on the next floor, dude. But I should absolutely look for a crawl space now, too. Oh, God. Killing an enemy has a 5% chance to grant flight for the room. That doesn't help me at all. I don't even have a trinket in my trinket slot right now because I gulped the last one, but... Yeah, that's gonna lose me another heart container. I can definitely not take that with me. <laughs> nice dodge. I'm not really worried about taking damage anymore with rocket bombs and, and golden bombs. So I, I really want to see if I can find a crawl space. I need any advantage right now. And even if I take damage, I still have plenty of hearts on the floor. Like, I, I can't possibly take that much damage with what I have now. Like, again, I need a golden bomb on the next floor and it's going to be so big. also the possibility to just find a tinted rock even though I've, I've seen every room now so 
No, there's no secret rooms on the Ascent. I don't need to bother with that. I'm blowing up every single rock on this floor. I have to. Who knows what kind of secrets lie beneath these stones? The answer is none. No secrets at all. All right, cool. Four hearts to the beast. This is what we have. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I'd be so much more comfortable if that was six hearts. I'd be so much more comfortable if that was six hearts. You have no idea. Oh, no. You have 52 missiles. Dude, if there was ever a time for that chest to give me mom's knife, <laughs> this would have been it. Oh no. Oh. I'm probably gonna have to shut up for this final fight. right now. This is one where Broken Modem can legitimately screw me over. This is one of the rooms that made me doubt Broken Modem before. One down, no damage so far. Whew. Funnily enough, famine is always one that I'm the most worried about. Famine and death are the ones that worry me. So I'm down with using uh, a bunch of bombs on this guy. Oh, I love you, Broken Modem. That allows me to stay close to him. That's huge. Mom's Razor carry. Yeah, shoutouts to Broken Modem. If I lose this, it definitely won't be because of Modem. It's trying its hard out to, to do anything it can here. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I got that. Butt knife doing a bit of work there as well. All right, all right. Now comes the next scary one. I think a lot of the difficulty with famine comes from the fact that you need to... Oh, come on, broken modem. That was rude. 
a lot of the difficulty with famine just comes from the fact that you need to get adjusted to the fight. But this guy is legitimately threatening, in my opinion. How did that not hit him? What is this hitbox? It went straight through his head. Did you see that? <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, we should be good. 24 bombs is plenty for this guy. I, uh... As much as I was hurt by that health down and telepills, the bombs are key definitely made up for it. What is it with these tears? Hello? What is that? Oh? Oh, that's the one I'm firing. It's the ones that I'm firing backwards. That makes sense. I'm surprised I one cycled every... Oh, there we go. Every single one of the sins. I would have been really surprised if we hadn't one cycled the beast here. But yeah, this is it. We're, we're done here. We're done with the hard part and we still have 6 HP. I... I was really scared of this beast fight. I thought the streak might die here, legitimately. Like, that was not just to add drama to the run. <laughs> Seriously, shoutouts to the bombs are key. GG.